Minds, welcome back and thanks for popping in. Today I have the April installment of the video series I've entitled First Glances and Second Chances. This is where I take a bunch of brand new subscription boxes to the channel, ones I've never opened before, and we open them in one big unboxing palooza. But that's not all. There's boxes that we've opened in this series before and we like them so much the first time that you guys have asked to see them again. So we give them a second glance. We see if we still like them just as much the second time as we did the first and if they're consistent. There's one of those in this video. I have to tell you, I did not actually plan to do a first glance as second chances for April. However, the subscription box odds seem to be in our favor and I was able to pull together five boxes and I think it's going to be a good installment because there's a lot of variety in this one. Um, as always, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family and these videos take a little longer. I always say that. So grab a snack, grab a drink, settle in and let's go ahead and dive in. The first box we're going to talk about is called Humble Pie Home and Kitchen Box. This is a quarterly subscription box. It is $50 a quarter. However, I did know Notice that if you get a year, an annual membership, it drops down to as low as $37.50, which is a pretty good drop and pretty reasonably priced for a quarterly subscription box. Now, this is a American-made, vintage-inspired kitchenware subscription box. You could get some ingredients in here as well as some recipes. You also get exclusive membership into a cooking class, which I think is really cool too. I don't know. I think this is a good budget-friendly quarterly subscription box option, especially if you like kitchenware. Now, this particular box, I believe, is gone. The new box is actually up on the website, and you can see a full spoiler. I mean, there is gorgeousness in that next box. So go over there and check it out. Now, I did notice on the website that if you get a three-month subscription, which you can't really do with this one because it's a quarterly box, you were able to get 50% off your first box. So I'm thinking you might have to get the annual subscription in order to do that. I'm not sure. You might have to play with it in your cart and see, but I did want to put that out there. All right. So when you get it, it looks like this. It's really cute pink and purple. I think this would be a lovely maybe Mother's Day gift idea. When you open it up, I did go ahead and slit the tape. I haven't like physically pulled the box apart because there was a lot of tape all the way around it. This is what it looks like. So it says humble pie, home and kitchen. Let me throw my glasses on. It tells you everything in here and it looks like a lot of the products inside are made from small businesses, again, in the U.S., and then here's our exclusive subscriber QR code. I think that'll take you to your cooking class and your recipes. Yeah, it says scan for exclusive content and recipes just for subscribers. And these are laminated, which is nice. Okay, so when we take off the bubble wrap, it's wrapped adorably. So again, if you wanted to make this a gift, I think it's great. <laughs> I think this is a tea towel and it says roll call and it's got rolls on it. Is that not hysterical? It feels like that like classic flower sack material. I love it. Isn't that cute? I love a play on words, don't you guys? Okay, so it says that is the roll call tea towel. It's designed with sketch by Capri Cafaro and converted to a graphic in Texas, printed on a flower sack towel in California. Okay, so that was our first item. Now, I did notice um, that they don't give you the prices of the items inside, just FYI. Okay, the next thing we have, holy snikes. Look at this. <laughs> what is this? It is a coconut cream candle. It's a candle that looks like a coconut cream pie. Okay, so it's in a pack like you get from the grocery store, like a pie in. Shut up. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Now I don't like the taste of coconut. I think it's a texture thing with me. I don't love coconut, but I love the smell of coconut. I mean, look at this. It's in a pie tin. It's got the crust. It's got the coconut cream on top. And I'm trying to see, I see three wicks. This is a three wick candle. Oh my goodness. That is a work of art. I feel like I just want to go. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay, it says the Beaver Creek Coconut Pie Candle made in Ohio by people with special needs. How 
cool is that? Okay, I'm really loving the potential of this box. Really am. Okay, the next thing I see in here looks like a jar of something. Now, the next box that I saw, I don't think it had any like ingredients or food type items in it. It was more that kitchenware, um, just so you know. So it looks like every box is gonna have a variety. Okay, ooh, we got apple butter. I love apple butter with some biscuits. Yum. This reminds me of my childhood growing up. That looks delicious. So it says this is Yoder's Cider, Cider Barn from Gambier. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ohio. Yoder's Homestyle Apple Butter. Okay, perfect. The next thing we have in here is something liquidy. It's in a bottle. Looks like it's got a cork in it, maybe. I will say again, everything is wrapped very well. Ooh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. I love oatmeal. I like the steel cut oatmeal specifically from Trader Joe's. You get it in the frozen section and you get two like pucks of it, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's just the steel cut oatmeal. So I like to dress it up with a little bit of salted roasted pecans and just a little drizzle of maple syrup yes look how good that looks oh my gracious okay so it says Bazell's bourbon barrel aged maple syrup it's from Bazell's maple farm in jefferson ohio so lots of ohio products in this box all right the next thing we got is this cute little pot holder all right, it says that this is a fabric printed in Ohio, sewn in Ohio, and designed by Capri Cafaro. And I actually think she's a chef who does this box. I think if you go over and YouTube her or Instagram her, you can see um, some of her recipes and things. Pretty. I can't get over that coconut cream pie candle. That was unexpected. All right, the next thing we have is a Good Stuff wooden spoon. I love a wooden spoon. This is what I use pretty much exclusively in my house. I just love them. Um, I use them. I rinse them off, just do a little brush to clean them off, and then put, like, some food-safe mineral oil on them about once a month. And they stay nice and pretty. This is the Good Stuff. All right, so it says um, wooden spoon from Hello World Paper made in Illinois. Okay, there's like several more things in here. This box is like never ending. All right, so we have this cute little like purpley periwinkle color spatula. I was trying to see. It's got the name of the company. It's got a really pretty design. These are good, especially if you have non-stick pots and pans so they don't scratch them. I love the color. I always go for bright colors when I get silicone because I know exactly what I'm reaching for like in the drawer. Like I know a certain whatever the red one is or the yellow one is, if that makes sense. Okay, so it says a silicone spatula is from Carver's Ridge and it's made in Iowa. This is great. Okay, the next thing we have says beehive handmade on it. What could this be? There's some writing on the back. Oh, it says fine pewter, and this is made in Rhode Island. Oh, oh look at these measuring spoons. How gorgeous. It says a dash of humor, a pinch of kindness, a spoonful of truth, and a heap of of happiness so it's got a little engraving on each side and then on the back it's the actual like measurement like this is the tablespoon this would make a great mother's day box like i said i don't know if this one's still available but how beautiful is that these are heavy nice beautiful quality love okay um, let's see if it says anything about that. Hearts and Errors Measuring Spoon Handmade by Beehive in Bristol, Rhode Island. Looks like we have one more thing in here. What are these? Now, this is interesting. These are Colors Bakeware 
They're a Celebrations loaf pan. Ooh, now I wanna make this. Look at that. I wonder if that would have been what the cooking class was. I'm sure the cooking classes, it doesn't say on the website, but I would assume they're probably taped. So if you miss it, you can go back and watch them. But I wonder if this is what um, you would make in the cooking class. Look how pretty, I wanna make this for the 4th of July. Isn't that pretty? And they're like thinner. I've never seen this before. I love the texture on the side. This looks like it wouldn't be hard because you would just make four and you get two. Probably one cake mix would fit them all. And then you just layer it with your homemade whipped cream and then your blueberries and strawberries. Or on the other side, it has blueberries and it looks like maybe shaved lemon. Oh my gosh, a blueberry lemon cake. This is really cute and it does say made in America right there it just says celebration loaf pan made in nordic wear in made by nordic wear in minnesota minnesota yeah <laughs> that was great we got a lot for the price i have to say for 50 dollars, we got the coconut cream pie candle beautiful the packaging on that was like superb wasn't it the apple butter the maple syrup the pot holder i feel like you could never have enough of these sometimes i don't get home from work until like eight o'clock and we're big soup people. We have soup in the crock pot all the time going. And um, I'll, sometimes I'll just come home, stir out a bowl of soup, put it, like set it on top of a pot holder and come up and like watch TV in bed or chat with my husband or something because the family's already eaten. These are fabulous. Um, we got the tea towel that says roll call. I love that. The silicone spatula, the wooden spoon, the hearts and arrows measuring spoons, as well as a celebration loaf pan. I'm telling you, if you go over to the website, you can see what's in the next box. Y'all are going to love it. Let me know if you want to see this one again. Um, and like I said, the only discount I could find was if you got a three-month subscription, which, again, I don't think you can do. It was on Crate Joy. Um, so you probably have to get the annual subscription in order to get your first box for half price. But if you get the annual subscription, the boxes are only $37.50. I mean, I feel like that's a no-brainer. I might go in and just do the annual subscription. What do y'all think? I think I might do that. Okay, let's keep going on to the next box. I did pay for that box with my own money, just FYI. Right, so this next box actually isn't a subscription box, but I'm always looking for great companies and ideas for last minute gifts. If you're like me, you try and keep up with the nieces and nephews' birthdays, maybe your grandkids' birthdays, you've got graduations coming up, birthday gifts, maybe baby showers. And if you're also like me, occasionally something falls through the cracks, okay? And you're left scrambling for a gift and then sending your husband to the the post office to pay an exorbitant amount of money to ship that package to get it there on time and I have an idea for you it is called send a friend y'all this is so stinking cute so inside of here is a stuffed animal and you get to pick which one you want they have something for everybody bright colored ones more muted pastel ones all kinds of interesting stuffed animals. You get the stuffed animal and a personalized note. So you just send over the note that you want in the comments when you're checking out and they will personalize it for you and they ship it. Now, they also have some add-ons. So if you want a t-shirt for the stuffed animal, maybe you want a sticker to match the stuffed animal. Maybe you want to add a candy pack in or a hat or a hoodie, all kinds of add-ins that you can do. So you can kind of customize the gift that you want, or you can just send the plush and the personalized note they also have bundles they have a you are my sunshine bundle a love you to the moon bundle which was so cute they have a mother's day bundle which has like some pampering things in it um what else did i see over there like a thinking of you one um so they have some pre-made bundles but i think if you've got like a kindergarten graduation coming up there are so many great ideas for this particular subscription. They did reach out to me and I got to tell you, probably 99.5% of the companies that reach out, I say no to, but I just loved the thought of this. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek. They did give me a discount code for 10% off, which I will link down below. Now, if you want it wrapped like this, it does cost, I think it's like $2, $2 or $2.50. So they did go ahead and wrap it kind of to show you. There was a shipping label on it, but I kind of took it off um, just so I would have it. But that's kind of fun when you get a wrapped present in the mail, right? Now let's see if I can rip this because it's very well taped. And then I'll show you. Now they did let me pick out the plush and I have to tell you, it was so stinking hard. Look at the box. The box says, someone loves you, a gift from send a friend. 
So if you didn't get it wrapped, it does come in a stinking adorable okay. box. So I ended up picking out the llama. His name is Lawrence the Llama. So when you open it up, look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I'll give you a little better version here. That's a good size animal. Has the send a friend tag. I saw so many, there was a, the cutest turtle, the cutest unicorn. There was one, it's a cow and it's a strawberry milk cow and it was pink. Whether you're sending it to a boy or a girl, I think they would love it. Look how sweet its face was. Wouldn't this be a great baby shower gift? I love it so much. If you've got a teenager and they're like looking for a gift for their loved one, you know, we've kind of been through that with my teens. That would be really, really fun. Now they have a little blue flower that you can add, which is cute. They have, what else? This is the little candy pack. Now there's a regular candy pack and a chocolate candy pack. So this one's got a pack of Skittles, two things of Welch's um, fruit snacks and several airheads. So you can add a little candy. So if you've got grandkids maybe and it's our last day of school, this would be such a fun way to celebrate. Um, here is the little sticker. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> Look at the sticker. I think, I think the stickers are $3. This is open for a surprise. Oh, and they gave me a little coupon here. So if you wanted to send a friend to someone else, you could. So that's Lawrence the Llama. And then there's a little personalized note. Now, I didn't have them personalize mine, but they said, we hope this fluffy friend puts a smile on your face, wishing you a day filled with happiness. Oh, so adorable. Um, they also had like a missing you bundle. Like I said, a graduation bundle, a birthday bundle. So if you don't want to make your own, you can go in and pick a bundle. I still think you get to pick your plush and then they customize all the rest for you. But if you just want the plush and the personalized note, it's $36. And I do have that discount code for 10% off. He's so soft. Y'all, this isn't like, you know, one of those stuffed animals you get at the fair that are all like cheap and crusty. <laughs> this is soft and sweet. I also think it's really important to share that I went over to the Send a Friend website and noticed while I was exploring that they give 10% of their profits to other nonprofit organizations. I saw tons of children's hospitals on there, organizations that support foster care, Ronald McDonald houses. And so I love that you can send something like this to put a smile on your loved one's face. But think about those kiddos that are in the hospital or maybe jerked out of their homes due to circumstances that were beyond their control and put into foster care and then receiving something sweet like this too. It makes me want to cry. So whether you want to send Lawrence, the llama, or any of them, I just wanted you to know that this is a company that gives back. So thank you, Send a Friend, for sending that over. Like I said, if you've got some gift ideas or people you need to send to, you can use that discount code. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is Wax and Wardrobe. This is a new subscription from Wix Wax Candle Company. And I got to tell you, they're fast becoming an inspiration to me because they have so many fun different subscription boxes. They've got their Scentibration box, which has candles and wax melts. They have just a candle box. They have a wax melt box. But this one's brand new. It's $19.95. It's called the Wax and Wardrobe Box. And inside, you're going to get a candle and a unique t-shirt. Now, what I think is really cool about this one is the eight ounce candle, you get to pick, and I think I counted 16 different candles that you can choose from. Yeah, 15 different candles. And the t-shirts come from small to 5X. So darn pretty size inclusive, which I appreciate. It says it's a $36.95 value. It says sometimes you could get a little surprise bonus item, but if you get an eight ounce candle and a t-shirt that you can pick the candle set. That's pretty good for $19.95. Now, with all the Wix Wax subscriptions, I have a discount code for 50% off your first box, making this only $10 for your first box. So I'll leave the link down below. If you can't find the link down below in the description box, go all the way up to the top comment under this video and all the information will be there. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Let's see if I slip the tape enough. Hold on, I missed a section. This one's got a lot of tape on it too. I try not to open them until I am on camera so you guys get the true reaction. All right, so here we go. 
even though it's awkward when I can't open it. There you go. How pretty is that tissue? I wonder if that is what the t-shirt color is. Oh, okay. So we've got, this must be our t-shirt wrapped in tissue here. And that's our candle. I have to say the Wix Wax candles do not give me a headache, ah, which is great. Um, this one is, it says they're monthly club and this one is fresh linen. Now the candles that I saw, there was fruity, there was fresh, there was floral. So like I said, 15 different scents that you can choose, or you can just pick a surprise me scent, which is nice, but fresh linen. That's right up my alley. Who doesn't want that? My laundry room is off my entryway. And so I always like it to smell good right in there. Perfect. All right. So that's my candle. All right, and then this is our t-shirt. I'm dying to know the color. Ooh, oh, look at this color. This is mine. Doesn't this shout spring and summer? Okay, it says, don't worry, be happy. That's adorable. And we've got that guy. I love it. This would be cute with just jean shorts if you're headed to the pool. The little white shorts. I love it. Now, I did get a size large. I like my t-shirts just a little bit big. This t-shirt is the, from the brand Gildan, which I do like. It says it's heavy cotton. It is 100% cotton. I love that. So, it's breathable. Um, but it probably will shrink just a little bit. Um, next month, I'll try and remember to give you um, an update on how this washes and dries. But I would think it would shrink just a little bit. But the large, that's a thats a big size large, I have to say. I do like them big, though. This would be a good t-shirt even to sleep in. A lot of times I just throw a t-shirt on with my sleep pants. But I think this would be cute with jean shorts, and I love the B. So if you want to check out the wax and wardrobe box, you can use my discount code for 50% off, making this only like $9.95. Adorable, right? Thank you, Wix Wax, for sending that over. All right, you guys, we're going to keep moving on. Let me send my notes over to the next page here. This is a brand new subscription, and it is called the Hobby Hop, okay? This one is $49 a month, and inside you're going to have everything you need to do a craft, and the crafts are going to be different every single month. So some of their past boxes, they did hand quilting, they did embroidery, um, some of the boxes coming up have um, sculpture in them, junk journaling, card making, they did a mini vision board box, doesn't that sound really interesting? So the goal really is once the mood strikes you to craft, you don't have to go searching for your scissors and your glue or whatever. Everything you need is going to be in here. You just open it up and you start crafting. And then halfway through, if you're like, crud, I forgot, I got to go pick up my kid from school, or I'm going to be late for work if I don't go get the show on the road, you can put everything back in here and store the craft when you're not working on it, which I think is a great idea. I love the little kangaroo here. Um, I do have a discount code, I think for 15% off, she told me, and I believe it's only for the first 25 subscribers. So when you open it up, it looks like this. So it says the April 2024 edition, and it says Earth. Um, crafting is a perfect partner to recycling, but also has potential to create more waste than other hobbies. For Earth Day, we're focusing on how to use our crafting powers for the good of the Earth. Learn more about fighting consumer waste. Here it is Earth Month. So I like that they did that. Okay, it says this month's project. There's an upcycle, upcycle challenge. There's a macrame. There's a tiny rose pot. And there's basket weaving. Look at all this. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a peek and look inside. They did send me a little note. Um, I think this is where she put my discount code. Yes. Oh, look. It says 15% off your first box. And I'll put the code down below, but it's Sunshine 15. That's not a referral link or anything. Okay. I will say this company was very, very sweet. They were thinking about launching and they actually reached out to me and asked me my opinion on some of the wording on things and what I thought. And I gave them my opinion. I thought that was really, really cool. And um, so this is what it looks like. All right. So the first thing we have in here is something wrapped up in a little bag. Okay, so we have rope. 
we have floss and we have a comb. How neat is this? Okay, so this is our macrame item that we're gonna make. It's like a little hanging rainbow, I bet. And the steps to make this are only six, <clears throat> six steps to make that first craft. Okay, the second craft that we're gonna do, hold on, is there something? Oh, there's green floss in here too, and purple. So black, green, and purple. All right, the next thing we have, whoops, is in this little jute bag. Clumsy fingers today. There's a lot of stuff in here. You get a lot for $49. And I like that they did three crafts. But the upcoming ones coming up sound really good. Card making, junk journaling, solar printing. I'm not sure I know what that is. Interesting. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the top of this bag because it's knotted. So I can get into it a little easier. There we go. Wow. So we've got a little pair of scissors. Look how cute these are. They look like little glasses. And this is some super glue. So truly, they do give you everything you need. That's amazing. Some uh, crafting boxes will say, like, we're not going to give you scissors or a glue gun. We just assume you have that. So this is kind of new and interesting. Okay, so here's our little flower pot. And then we have all these really cute little markers. How neat. So it says tiny rose pots. Decorate your pot in any way you see fit and, and then follow the directions on the packaging to grow a tiny little rose garden in your home. Okay. And these markers are double-sided. So there's probably like a fine tip and a thicker tip. And it says you matter on the little flower pot. Here, I'll open them so I can show you. A little closer. Ooh, I think this one is metallic. Yeah, it says that one side's thick and one side's thin for the pins, the tips. So here's like a thinner, like a brush tip, and then here's more of a fine tip. Pretty. And then you've got purple and kind of a pink color. This would be fun too. Like I know that it's it's this is kind of for adults, but like if you wanted to have your kids help you. This would be a fun project to sit down and do with them and then they can help you grow the kits. I love it. But there's so many like crafting kits for kids. I love that this one's for adults. And then the next one is all about basket weaving. What's in here? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, there are buttons upon buttons upon buttons in here. There is some little pieces of wood that are colored. There's some little twine. There is a star. Now those, all those aren't buttons. There's like a little wheel cog. There's an elephant button. That's so cute. There's kind of this like mother of pearl sort of looking bead that's got a pink tone to it. I mean, these kind of look vintagey. Maybe these are maybe this is the upcycle challenge because this looks like it has come off things. All kinds of like beads and buttons. Here's like a jade looking rhino. These are so interesting, but they do look vintagey. I mean, just tons and tons and tons. So let's read about the upcycling challenge. It says, the brown pillow box contains a variety of items to inspire your most creative self. Combined with other products you'll discover throughout the box, what could you make? A useful pin cup? A adorable bird sculpture? A really cool statement necklace? Let your imagination run wild and don't forget to post on social media. So that's kind of our upcycle Earth Day project that we can do. You can just use it to make whatever you want. How cool. Oh, look at the penny. There's even like a little penny with a cross. This would be fun for junk journaling, for um, card making, any of that. That is really neat. There's a little butterfly. I mean, there's probably 50 pieces in that little pillow that they've just upcycled. <laughs> okay. And then we have one more guy in here. And I think this must be our basket weaving because that's what's left. 
Okay, so we have this pretty green raffia. And then we have this guy. Oh, this is cool. Okay, it looks like this. Oh, it's a heart. Do you see it? I see the heart now. So I guess we're going to make a heart-shaped basket. It's And this is only three steps. Step one has been completed for you already. Bend the spokes upward and weave individual paper strips in and out of the cardboard legs. Okay, it's real easy. Real easy. How neat is this? I like these projects. So what, this is good if you were wanting to learn some crafting or get out of your rut. Maybe you always card make or always do whatever and you're looking for maybe something or else you're interested in. This is a way to tap into like several different crafts. Like, you know, you make the little cute macrame guy and then it might inspire you to go on Pinterest and see what else you can make and go down that rabbit hole. I think you get for this box, three crafts for $49 is actually really cool. And I do like the upcycle challenge. This is neat. Okay, so this is the Hobby Hop. Here's the little basket. Now, mine is green, but there's a little basket once it's made, a little heart. Isn't that cute? Adorable. All right, so again, you can use my discount code. It's good for 15% off the first 25 subscribers. Thank you to Hobby Hop for sending that over. We have one more box. Now, this one, I know that I've shown two of these on the channel, but I think I showed two months in my first video. So this is actually its second chance. This is a scrapbooking box by the scrapbooking store. Y'all, it is so cheap. It's $13.98. There is a discount code for 10% off, which I will link down below. I'm very impressed with this for the price. You get so much in here. So you get a ton of 12 by 12 double-sided papers. You get stickers, you get embellishments. And then they also put in here like complimentary items. Like they show you pictures of them. So if you want to add more to this collection, like maybe you want to do a whole scrapbook based on the items in here, there are complimentary items that you can go over to the scrapbook store and pay for. Um, they also have an exclusive Facebook group, which I did not see that the first time I did it so I want to go over there and join because I know with scrapbooking I love to get inspiration I'm just real good at seeing something and wanting to recreate it so <laughs> that's what it looks like this says the scrapbooking store do not bend although I will say my mailman does seem to bend it even though it's in very large letters but we love him and he brings me all my favorite things so we're just gonna go with it it is got a cardboard back here so i have to say even though she kind of bent it or he bent it in half it really can't it's not it didn't bother it i guess probably the size doesn't really fit in my mailbox unless he does that okay so it says what's inside this april scrapbook kit get ready to embrace embrace the fresh beginning of april with our latest kit called It's Easter Time by Echo Park. Infuse your layouts with the vibrant energy of the season as you dive into the beauty of spring. This collection is bursting with blooming flowers, cute rabbits, the warmth of sun, perfect for capturing the essence of April. Let your creativity bloom and bring the spirit of Easter time to your projects. Now, obviously Easter was in March, it was the end of March, but if you've taken pictures and you want to print them out, you're not going to have them till April. So this is very timely to get our April spreads done. And then you can see the upgraded items. They tell you right here what those are. Um, okay, so the theme is, does it say it's Easter time by Echo Park? I guess I read that. All right, let's go ahead and take a peek at this, this layout. I really like this. I think it's very comprehensive. And you get enough in here to even paper craft with if you want a card maker junk journal. So this is all little, um, are these punch outs or stickers? These are stickers. So you've got rainbows and trucks and bunnies and banners and eggs. I love that little banner. I love the rainbow, some words. Oh, I love this like washi tape looking piece. That chocolate bunny, I want to nobble off his ear. <laughs> nobble. I think I was thinking nibble and gobble. I made a new word. Nobble, Sunshine Squad. That's our new word. Nobble. Look at the little chick with the ears. He's so cute too. Okay, so we got the sticker pack. And then we have, like I said, they're double-sided. We've got that guy. This one's got Easter baskets. And this one's just like a pink or a, I guess that's lavender. 
We've got a check. That's pretty. That screams me. Oh, this one does too. Look at this one. It's like a seafoam green and it's just got a background of just bunnies. And then the chicks. Normally when I scrapbook, I go for more muted than I do with, with like this, but I will do something fun with that sometimes for a card or something. We've got the little spring flowers with tulips and daisies. Now this you can cut out to make cards with or to just add as embellishments to your um, spreads. I like that because that one with the, with the carrots could be a journaling box. We've got this guy and this guy. That's kind of a funny green, isn't it? That's pretty. I like that it's not so expected. There's rainbows that have little bunny ears on top of them. That's cute. More embellishment. So if you're a card maker, these would be great for that. But again, you could use these in your spreads too. There's the lavender. Oh my gosh, this. This is so pretty. Got a plaid here, a pastel plaid. That's just happy. Another thing of embell embellishments. And then this one's orange. We just have a couple pages left. This one's kind of an orange check. Oh, look at the carrots. That is so cute. It is kind of a greenish blue. Okay, I love this one. And then we have this guy. I kind of like how they take the muted and back it with a bright because when it's double sided, I always feel like I'm missing out because maybe I want both of these. But when they do a bright, I don't usually do this in a scrapbook page, but I do this. So I don't feel like I'm actually losing that page, if that makes sense. And then the last one is a polka dot and then more embellishments. $13.98. That is a great, great price. I love supporting a store. I feel like scrapbooking is is not as popular as it used to and this is like a exclusive like scrapbooking type store so i think that's really cool that you can support them so i got a discount code for 10 percent off and we're done we made it through all five did i tell you it was going to be a good one what was your favorite let me know in the comments do you have any new boxes i've never opened before that you would like to see let me know in the comments and i'm happy to take one for the team and show them in a future unboxing i'll see you later guys Bye bye